that song I have to say right so should be a busy day on the farm today got the grass work to do finally got the grass work to do really happy about that but first let's get these cows fed I have been speaking to George about letting him out but he doesn't actually think it's about the right time yet so we're gonna wait it out probably another week he said and then we will uh, yeah send him out and the reason for that is we have got bit of a cold spell coming up a few days of minus temperatures which isn't nice really in April but oh well we have had a bit of a strange time when it comes to the weather anyway and they'll be happy soon and out and about we'll have the calves as well so that'll be that'll be interesting our plan when it comes to the calves is actually to let them out as well with the yeah, with the, uh, the cows for a bit, and then we'll have to separate them out, obviously, put them on the bucket. Just so we can actually keep the cows milking. I think the plan is to put them in here, actually. Get the calves in there. Should be interesting. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Still makes me laugh when I think about the calves, because every time, it always makes me think about Keith and what he's going to get up with them lambs feeling it's going to be a bit tricky for him probably funny for us but tricky for Keith so we will have to give him an helping hand even if it's funny watching him run around chase a load of lambs but nah let's just finish this off I've put quite a few hay bales in I'll be honest I've put more than normal because we're getting to that point where we're going to be making our own feed soon again so we may as well top up this just give them as much food as they need we don't have to worry about that now we've made it through the winter so let's just quickly jump up here, take that off, take that off, and that should be fine. Happy days. There we go, turn the mixer on. It's working a treat so far. Absolutely chuffed to bits with this tractor. 5150. Still can't believe George did that, I really can't. Such a nice thing for him to do. hoping I can just work my socks off now the rest of the year get him a good turnover with the crop and the linseed yeah I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to repay him now with is just with hard work because he's, he's not gonna accept any money from me it's been clear about that so ah it is what it is we'll go have a look at the uh, JCB in a sec so I'm hoping to do the mowing in that but first let's get this sorted out let's get this uh, this feed mix given to the cows It's easier every time doing a feed mix, it really does. Yeah, they don't need that much in all fairness, and I was going to top up the straw, but with them going out soon, 
Probably don't need to do that until just before. And I probably should mention as well, like I did previously, about the grass area where they've been sitting over winter. Because it does look a bit battered at the moment, unfortunately. And maybe it'd be a good idea to get that sorted out while we've got the chance. While the cows are out in the field. We could actually go and sort that out. Because, yeah, it doesn't look the best right now. See, it's a bit trampled. Yeah, we should probably do something with that at least. Right, let's go sort out this then. And I think the plan is, because we're going to have some colder weather soon, we're going to start with silage and then move on to the hay. That's what me and George decided anyway. But yeah, look at this fast track. Cracking idea by George. I have given it a bit of a clean and everything. There's a few scratches on it, obviously with it being second and brand new. But it'll do the job. It'll do the job. And I have cleaned off the mower, which is in pretty good nick. It really is. The only problem we've got with it is just underneath where just natural wear you obviously scratch the surface of the blades and stuff like that as you're going past but give it all clean check the blades themselves everything seems fine so good to go we really are and that's where we found the home for the Leyland so shame seeing it there but not much else we can do at the moment so ah well anyway let's uh, jump in I'll start her up get her warmed up before we head out I am really looking forward to using this fast track Head inside. I was going to try and convince George to let me use my case, but it's probably best if I use the fast track. And with it having more juice as well, it's either that really or the Massey. But I think it's uh, time for the Massey to have a little bit of a rest, I'd say. Let's get this fast track out. Oi! Hey up, George. How's it going? Oh, I'm all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, sound. Sound. Looking forward to getting out in the field with the fast track. Oh, uh, hey, hey. Come here, I want to show you something. All right, then. Nothing right. Well, not really. Notice something. All right, then. What, what are you showing me now? You, faffing about. <laughs> what have I done now, George? What's this here? What do you mean? What, what do you mean, what do you mean? Look at the ground. What about it? Well, where's the grass gone? Oh, you mean... Uh... I know what you mean now. Uh, <laughs> um, well, hey, you've taken this as a shortcut as well. Uh, not as many times as you, clearly. What have you done to it? Well, George, it's, I mean, we both use it. It kind of makes sense in all honesty, doesn't it? What's by the by? You're plumbing making your own track in me field, man. you got to watch the grass, especially this time of year. Well, why don't we actually make this into a track? Well, we're going to have to now, aren't we? You've pretty much made it your sin. Hey, come on, George. You've, I've seen you drive through this way multiple times, not just me. In fact, I think I started doing it after I saw you do it. Well, not my fault. You're blaming me for now. I mean, it's you this is. All you, bobbing up and down like God knows what. Forgetting this, forgetting that, coming back, going forth, going backwards. You don't know if you're coming or going, you don't. <laughs> well, I've obviously know where I'm going, don't I? I go this way and then I come back that way. Well, well, I don't know what to say then. Bloody... Yeah. Oh. Exactly, George. You know it makes sense. Let's just have it as a track. Well, we're going to have to, though. Well, I'm not putting no hard standing down or like that. We'll just have to keep driving on it, I guess. All right, and we'll do that. Well... I'm glad you noticed it, because now we've had the conversation and, yeah, that's the plan then, I guess. Well, uh, seems like you've won. <laughs> I haven't won anything. It's a good idea. Look, we drive through it all the time. We cut through this field. Probably shouldn't, I agree, but cows usually graze up there, because water trough's up there anyway. I mean, why would they want graze by the muck heap? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, don't matter. Yeah, we're driving through it. We'll carry on. Don't matter. I just thought I'd point it out, because you've got to respect the grass, especially this time of year. We need it. We can feed the cows, you can keep driving over all of it. Well, it's only a tiny bit. Anyway, it's all good now. We know what we're doing. All right. So, fast track, then, eh? 
Is that what you're using for the mower? I am, ah. I've just fed the cows. Used the case for that. Oh, what? Enjoying it? I am, George. Honestly, it's, it's, it's brilliant, mate. Much better. I know I shouldn't say this right next to her, but yeah, she's it's a, it's a better track than the Leyland, let's be honest. I mean, I love this Leyland. Oh, she's nice, but she ain't done yet. Dead and buried yet. I think there's plenty of life left in that girl. Just got to give it time, haven't we? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, what do you think of the weight then? Honestly, George, I think we could get a better one. Well, what are you all about? A better one does the job. It's heavy, isn't it? It's a weight. What do you expect it to do? Flash lights at you? Sing songs to you? It's a bloody weight, man. I know that. It's just. It's just a bit, you know, battered. Battered? What do you need it for? Like I said, does the job that does. Oh, can never keep you happy, can we? <laughs> you asked me what I thought of it. When you said you had a weight for the tractor, I thought, hey, hope he's gone and got himself a weight, like, you know, a proper good one. Then I saw this and I thought, well, it's just a slab. Slab? I'll give you a slab in a minute. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm only messing with you, George. Well, it best be. Anyway, best leave you do it then, aren't I? You sorted that mower out, checked it. You, know, you damaged that as well. No, I've checked it. Everything's fine. Blades are all good. I was going to change them with the ones you give me, spares, but we don't really need them. Well, I'll see me a bit of bop then. Right, I'll leave you do it then. Doing salads, like we said, eh? Yeah, salads. Probably the best. It's going to get chilly in it soon, so we'll do A later on in the year. All right, then. We had a look at cows today. I looked on them this morning, but they're not quite there yet, are they? No, they're not. I mean, they're close, though, George. Soon, mate. Six calves, I'm telling you. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Definite, not as. Look like they're ready to burst now. Well, I'll check them a few times each day, keep an eye on them. You do the same. Ah, will do, George, definitely. I'll keep an eye on them. Right, I'll leave you to it then, I'll crack on. Ah, oh, no worries, oh, no worries. Hey, George, before you go, listen, just want to check you're all right, man. What do you mean? We're all right. Well, the last few times I spoke to you, just get. Just get the, you know, the sense of the feeling there's something going on that you don't want to talk to me about. But, you know, if you want to talk, I'm here and happily have a chat with you. Don't be a madman. There's no wrong with me. I'm all right. Just don't worry. It's in, it's in a nothing. I'm telling you now, it's nothing. All right, and sure you don't want to chat about anything? I'm fine, Scroff. Just crack on. All right, and as long as you say you're fine, I'll leave it be. All right, and I'm fine, I promise you. Nothing wrong with me. Right, and George, it's good to hear. Anyway, I'll, I'll crack on and I'll leave you to it. All right, and stop faffing. Hey, I'm only checking in on you. Well, Marie, stop faffing. Ah, will do, will do. Ah, George. I don't know, I just had the feeling. Something's not right with him, but then again, he's not going to tell me, is he? Made that clear. But, the offer's there, if he wants to chat, I'll... You know, I'll talk to him about anything. I just want to make sure he's all right, really. But he says he is, so... Just got to take his word for it. Anyway, let's head out to this field and get this job done. This, this JCB, I'm telling you now, is massive. Absolutely massive. And inside, you feel like you're so high up in the cab. You should make easy work of this. I'm just glad we're at the time of year when we're starting to cut grass again. And I think we're probably one of the first to get out on the field and cut. But why not get a head start? And the weather's nice now before it gets a bit, you know, cold outside and everything. We may as well make a start. Look how fast this thing goes. It's a beast. What a machine. A bit smoky like, but, you know, it does the job. Sure, looking at that field then, it looks like Tony's planted something in, so I'll have to check that out. And what it is, can't tell, but looks like everyone's planted in already. Right, let's open these. Ah, look at it. Perfect time of year getting these fields. It's, it's so, such a massive difference compared to the winter. Springtime. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. But now we're doing it in different tractors. We've gone up in the world. I'm 
sure we'll see George soon out here fishing. Surprised he's not up here now. Right, so let's get ourselves set up with a bit of a headland. I mean, you can tell by the field it's proper ready. You can have a quick look at it, but you can see some of the grass has gone dead already. Yeah, we are proper in season now for mowing. Mowing season. I do enjoy it. Let's get this done. Right, so let's lower this down. turn around just have a quick look just to make sure that looks good to me that does there we go off we go so let's make our way around we have got a radio in here as well so Sure, is that sunflowers? I think it might be, you know. Let's have a quick stop here and just check what's going on. Maybe look, mind me getting in this field, but yeah, that's sunflowers. I tell you what, that field will look nice in summer. Right before autumn, autumn time, I think, for sunflowers. It does look a bit wet, this grass does, though. Hmm. I don't want to be raking it out, but it does look a bit wet, though. Oh, well, it might dry up in certain areas. We'll check how we get on when we get going. What a lovely morning. I mean, we're only about half nine, and we're, we're out mowing. I've been waiting for this for months, I really have. And the fact that I'm doing it in a fast track, well, I never, thought, I never would have thought that. I really didn't. Ah, well, can't beat it. Smell of fresh cut grass as well. Sun's out. Nice day, not too chilly as well. Should be good. Perfect day to be out in the fields. I mean, after we've cut this, we might get a chance as well. Throw a bit of muck down. We have got plenty of it. Plenty of slurry as well. We might get a spreader out in between us doing the hay. And, uh, yeah, like I said, soon we're going to be letting the cows out anyway to start grazing. And there's going to be plenty on. There really is. That won't be too bad. Ah, you can see the grass is dried out. Well, it looks like we're mowing a bit drier now, which is good. Maybe it's just that bottom corner. Maybe we're collecting a bit. Ah, oh, well, still good enough. Still good enough. Ah, I think it's a good time now. Get the drone out. Crack on with this field. too bad so far been pretty good steady job nothing but nice steady job relaxing in the field I have to say though this is one hell of a tractor 
I am absolutely flying through this. Flying. I am missing bits though, so I'm not happy about that, but I am still trying to get used to this tractor. Ah well, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. Hey up, who's this now? <laughs> That's George. Hey up, George, how's it going? I'm alright, mate. Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't give you an helping hand. Oh, well, what, what do you mean? Well, I'll be in the field in a minute. Have you started up top end? Uh, yeah, top end, away from the, the lake. Why, you got the, the row? Oh, I got row. So, uh, you see me coming in in a sec, I'll, uh, I'll come give you an helping hand. Ah, sound, George. Top man. That'll make things a little bit easier. I'd say I'm about halfway through this field, so plenty of grass chopped already for you to row up. Oh, that's sound. How's it getting on anyway? It's all right. It's doing, it's doing well. I missed a few bits though, George. Didn't look at that. I ignore that bit. <laughs> oh, I'll try to, but depends how bad it is. Um, I keep missing bits at the bottom end here. Looking at Tony's field like. Oh, uh, well, we'll blame it on Tony's field then. Yeah, let's blame it on that. Well, well you'll see me in a sec anyway. I ain't too far away, you know. I'll, t I'll start up top end. Alright then. Alright then, mate. See you in a bit. Ah, uh, see you in a bit. That's good then. We'll just come and help us. He says he's close. I guess he'll be here in a second. pretty well. I think I just saw George. There he is. Give him a bow. Hey up, George. How are you getting on? Oh, I'm doing all right, mate. Don't worry about me. You concentrate on what you're doing. Right, well, hopefully I won't get in your way too much. I can see you in that thing. It's massive. It is, isn't it? It's a beast as well, George. It flies through this field with this mower. It's not even struggling one bit. Well, that's why I got it. Got it for that. I already knew. I knew these things, you see. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Right, well, remember, don't get in my way. What? Don't get in my way, you mean? Do this with my eyes shut. Don't do it with your eyes shut, George. We'll blend up bits of each other. Well, you'll hit me all the way round. I'll tell you that now. With your track record, tractors, tools, everything breaks. Ah, well, you say that, but at least I don't get stuck in rivers. Huh. That was one time, and that was your fault as well. How was that my fault? I came to save you. Well, I don't know. Sounds about right. Anyway, I'm trying to concentrate here. You not faffing and do what you got to do. <laughs> right then. Just checking in on you. Hey, maybe we should get some walkie talkies. Walkie talkies? I don't know what that means. You never stopped talking to me. I told you you'd only shut up. <laughs> right then. Right, I'll leave you to it then, Grumpy. Hey, did you bring me a flask like I brought one for you when you were up... when you were fishing? Uh, no, I forgot about that. Let me guess, you brought yourself one, though. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. See you in a bit. That's a yes, then. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll both just crack on and get this field done. Can't believe he bought himself a flask, but not me. What is he like? Next time he asks for one, I might just bring me home. Hey up, George, how's it going? Oh, not too bad, not too bad, you? I'm alright, I'm alright. Uh, let me just reverse, get out your way a bit. Ah, oh, go on, get out of way, what are you doing faffing about there? <laughs> I'm just, I'm all done anyway, I've just thought I'd ring you, tell you. I could see that when you stopped. Right then. How about we take a break? I'll take a break when I'm done. 
All right, and while I'll be sitting out front here by the bench. Oh, it's right for some, isn't it? Hey, well, I've done my part. I mean, I can always jump in there and finish off for you if you want. No, it's all right. No, you sit, you chill, you relax. I'll do all the hard graft. Don't you worry about that. Put your feet up while you're there. Okay, I'll do that then. I'll uh, I'll put my feet up. Don't you worry about that. All right, then. Anyway, yeah, chill out and I'll come to you in a minute. All right, then, George, I'll park up here. You haven't got a spare cup, have you, for that flask you've got? No, I'm booming over it. Get your own. <laughs> Right, and see you in a bit. Ah, oh, there we go, job done. Ah, oh, I think it's nice me sitting around now watching George do all the graft. I know we're nearly done though. We're definitely nearly done. Just see him over there, he's, he's definitely on the last little bit of the field. Ah, oh, put my feet up, wait for George. I guess we'll have a quick look at the grass. Maybe we should ring him up and tell him to stop faffing. I would have done it by now. <laughs> hey, right, George. Armory. Oh, well, you took your time with that. What, what, what you're about? Took me time with that. I did alright, no? Yeah, you did fine, George. You did fine. I appreciate you coming out and help me out. Nice one for that. Oh, no worries. I'll get through it quicker. And no fineness. I, like, I enjoyed that. It was nice. I need to give the forward a run. Ah, oh, let's have a quick look then, eh? Ah, oh, hey, it looks alright. Not too bad. Definitely got enough off this. I think you're right, George. Look at these rows. Hey, you've done a good job of rowing up. Look at you, haven't missed a bit. Oh, I know, I got better at it, haven't I? It'd been a while before, last year. It was a bit rusty. No, well, you're not rusty now, George. That's off to you. It's a cracking job. Look at the mess I made down here. I oh, know, I won't even say it, but Christ almighty, you blind down here, what's doing? Sun getting in your eye. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, George, I don't know, but I missed a few bits there. Oh, well, let's just, uh, you know, let's not talk about that. <laughs> right, well, I'll leave it probably overnight, I guess. And then uh, in the morning, I'll get the bailer out, eh? Ah, sounds like a good plan. Anyway, come on, let's go sit down. Yeah, no worries, George. No worries. It's been a good day, hasn't it, so far? Sure has. Enjoyed that, like I said. Enjoyed helping you out. Yeah, nice one for that, George. Nothing better than a productive day. I think we've done pretty well today. I agree with that. 